Hello, today we're going to have a quick look at the Windows Store, how to install apps, how to uninstall apps, and how to basically prohibit apps being installed, and also how to sideload apps as well. Okay, the first thing is we would need to open up the Windows Store. Now you can either click on this happy little green icon at the bottom, or Windows 10, you have a store over here. Or you could write store. Okay, whoops. Even if you spell it wrong, it seems to recognize it. Okay, store. And then you can just open it up, clicking on that. Okay, the first thing to do is to basically install any program that you'd want. Okay, we might go to, shall we say, top three. Okay, now that we've got the store open up, we basically try and search for an app, for example. You might type in a name of something that you're looking for, or you might go through categories, top charts, collections. You might look at the top three games. You might, for example, want to install this Minion Rush game. Okay. You'd basically look at ratings, how many times it's been downloaded, etc. Okay. You'd make sure your screen, and then you go that side. And now what you need to do is just click on the install tab over there, button over there. And providing you're logged in to a Microsoft account, it'll automatically start installing. Otherwise, it'll ask you to either create a Microsoft account or log in. You'll get the prompt over there. Okay. We've installed an app earlier. Okay. One way of removing an app is just close that down. Okay, we installed the Facebook app. Okay, all apps. There we go, Facebook. Right click on it and then click uninstall. Before we do that, as you saw, you could have pinned it to the start. Okay, you got it on the start screen or pinned it to the taskbar. Comes down over there. Let's just show you. There we go. Now to uninstall it. Okay, just click over there and click on uninstall. Yeah, let's get rid of Facebook for now. And then it disappears and it's uninstalled. Okay, how do we now stop users or a specific user from basically accessing the store? Okay, it's done by the group policy editor. How do we get here? We go to gpedit.msc. Okay, and then we click on that. And basically, where it is, you need to go into computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, and then you'll find store. Once you click on store, you get these options. Okay, now you can turn off automatic downloading, turn off automatic download and install of updates. Okay, basically turn off the offer to update to the latest version of Windows. Okay, or what we're looking for is turn off the store application. And then basically you'd have that there and then click on enabled. Okay. And then click on okay. And as you can see, not available. The store is not available. And of course to bring it back, we just click not configured. Okay, now let's have a quick look at how to install an app via the side loader. Okay, first thing we need to do is actually enable that facility, that feature, in again the group policy editor, which you can get to gpedit.msc. Okay, and then you click on that and then it'll open up the screen. Make sure you go to computer configuration. And then administrative templates, Windows components, app package deployment, and then allow all trusted apps to install, edit it, and then click on enable. Okay, if you've done that, then basically wherever you have a file, a .appx file that you need to install, a proper file that's actually being compiled and signed, etc., you can. Okay, now in our downloads folder, we have one over here. 
Okay, JPEG to PDF dot APBX. Okay, let's basically run this command, which is add dash APBX package, and then it's the name of the file. Click on that, and then it goes to that little screen. And if you look over here, that's installed. Okay, it's as simple as that. And to uninstall that package, you just go to all apps, right click on it, and uninstall. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, sometimes we might need to install an app on more than one computer. Okay, there might be some limitations on it. And for example, when we uninstall it on one computer, it doesn't recognize it on the other computer as allowing us to install it. So we go over here in the Windows Store, click on Settings, okay, App Updates, and then make sure you sync licenses. Okay, it'll basically sync all app licenses and make sure that you're allowed to now use the app on the new computer once it's been installed on another. Okay. Thank you for watching.